Yahuwah Barak Israel, may the Almighty Barak you. So Yahuwah taught, taught me how to bless our Barak Israel, his people, is to say Yahuwah Barak you, be Barak in Yahuwah name. So that way in the last days, you have peace, joy, comfort, stability, you have your mental needs, a peace of mind, the helmet of salvation, you have your physical needs, you have water, you have food, you have house, and you have clothes. Because Solomon says, water, food, clothes, and house, those are the four basic needs for life. And you also have your spiritual need, you have the rock, and you have the fruit of the rock. So let Yahuwah, our Almighty, our Savior, our Messiah, barak you in His name. Be barak. May Yahuwah also barak me. David, that way Yahoo, his servant, Shalom. And this is the congregation of brotherly love of Philadelphia, which we operate on love. Love is when a, when a man laid down his life for a friend. And love in the Bible is when Adam fell, Adam was made in Yahweh image, Adam fell. Nobody on the earth could save Adam. Nobody in heaven could save, save Adam. But Yahuwah who made Adam. So I tell you that Yahuwah who made Adam is the Redeemer, the Savior, the Messiah of Adam. So you see, when Adam fell, nobody was in the heaven that could save Adam but Yahuwah. Nobody was on the earth that could save Adam and his children but Yahuwah who made Adam. So I tell you that the Creator is the Messiah, the Savior. And this is the dungeon that's in the book. This is the dungeon of Yahuwah, the Almighty, the Messiah gave me, David, Dawah, Yahu, the ancient prophet, the ancient prophet of Yahuwah that came back in this time to give to you. You know, there's the house of David, the 144,000, and the remnant men and all the women of Israel, which is the one third. We are to follow the Almighty as He says, as the scripture is written. Praise be to Yahuwah, we must have wisdom, knowledge, honesty, and stability and the strength of salvation that may to endure until Yahushua come. And the fear of Yahuwah will be our treasure. We, we must be stable. So brothers and sisters, let us come together in love and proclaim the truth. Without adapting, without lifting up our hands in wrath, but in prayer for the kingdom of heaven to come on the earth. This is what we are called to do, to turn to the to the light. Yahuwah, Yahushua is the light, the light of the world, and that we may illuminate and we may turn our brothers and sisters and the other nations that are called by Yahuwah name to the light that they may illuminate too. Hallelujah, praise be to Yahuwah. Now for the brothers that say, show us the scripture that say that the father is the son where moses says which year shema o ezo yahua our almighty is one yahua that means our creator yahua is the only creator he is the almighty saying he is the almighty and the creation fell from grace so he became the savior he took on flesh and became the savior the messiah to save his people that go back to the law of moses right Praise be to Yahuwah. So you must believe in the Almighty with your whole heart. That means what? You must know the Father and the Son is one Almighty. Now be your whole heart, with your whole soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. This is what Moses said, right? And we know Moses was, was the greatest man. Moses was even greater than David, greater than everybody. So the law of belief was given to Moses, the commandments was given to Moses, the Torah was given to Moses, right? But even Moses said that the people did not understand why he wrote what he spoke. So you see, now we the generation we must understand what Moses wrote and why he spoke. And more keep the precepts for us to enter the land. The promised land, the perfect rest in Yahushua. Go me to the book of Yahweh Yahu. Oh Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 3. And I Yahuwah will gather the remnant of my flock. Out of all the countries, what I will have driven them, and I will bring them again to 
their folds and they shall be fruitful and increase. So you see, Yahuwah says, I will gather the remnant of my flock that made Yahuwah the shepherd. And we know Israel, us, we only have one shepherd. So that means Yahuwah is the Messiah, the good shepherd. So you see, when we read the scriptures, we look for clues to give praises to the Almighty. And this is the tribe I come from to give praise to Yahuwah, to give thanks. So when we read the scriptures, we break it down that everybody can understand it without no confusion because we know Yahuwah is not the author of confusion and the sheep, we, we are not confused. Of who we serve, salvation is of the Jews, right? They worship what they do, they do not know, but we worship who we know for salvation is of the Yahudim, the Jews. So we know that the Almighty of the Jews, we know him. He's the shepherd, he's the rock. I will gather in I Yahweh will gather the remnant of my flock that made Yahweh the shepherd, the Messiah, out of all the queens of what I Yahweh have driven them, and I will bring them again to their foes, and they shall be fruitful and increase. That we will have children. And I will set up one shepherd over them, we shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they. Be lacking, says Yahuwah, and the shepherd will be who? David, right? Because David is the shepherd that says, Yahuwah is his shepherd. That means he knew Yahuwah is the Messiah. Yahuwah is my shepherd. I like nothing. So the shepherd that like nothing, Yahuwah will set him over his people and make other shepherds like him, that the, the sheep, your, us, will like nothing. Because Yahuwah is the Messiah, our shepherd. Behold, the days come, says Yahuwah, that I, Yahuwah, will rest on the David, a righteous branch, and the king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. So Yahuwah is telling David that from David loans, he and Yahuwah will come to be the Messiah of his people. So you see, from David's family, the Almighty will come on the earth and become the Savior. That happened already, right? It's in the scriptures. So the old prophets, the prophets of old, they knew the prophets that the Almighty will come in the flesh and they die and they went to heaven, right? Then the disciples will come and see Yahuwah, which is the message that the old prophets prophesied about. You right? This is what happened. In his days, Yahuda shall be saved and yes, we all Israel shall dwell in safety and this is his name, whereby he shall be called Yahuwah, our righteousness. So you see, we'll call this king, the shepherd, the righteous branch, which is the Messiah, Yahushua, Yahuwah, our righteousness. So you see, the Savior is Yahuwah, our righteousness. Then I go to all the part of Yahuwah saying he will save Yahuda first. So the tribe of Yahuda is saved first. And David from the tribe of Yahuda is saved first in this time. Then there will be the house of David, right? Zechariah chapter 14, 7. Or 12. See what it says. The reward it says. And you watch. And Yahuwah also shall save the tenants of Yahuwah first, that the glory of the house of David that the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Yahuda. So you see, that means it's the scripture say Yahuwah will save. That means Yahuwah is the savior. Yahuwah came in the flesh, born of the virgin to save Israel, his people. And Yahuwah, Yahuwah also shall save the tents of Yehuda first. So Yehuda drove will save first. And then from Yehuda, David saved first, right? That the glory of the house of David and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify themselves against Yehuda. In other shall Yahuwah defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem which is the remnant man, and, and he that is feeble or weak, mentally, physical, and spiritual on a day, 
shall be as David in the house of David, the one hundred of the thousand shall be as the Almighty or Shaddai, as the Malak of Yahweh before them. That go back to will be like the son of Yahweh, right? That because Yahweh came in the flesh to be our Messiah, that he body, that he got from the Virgin Mary will atone for our sins, and Yahweh being the rock in the physical body now will go back up, right? That go back to we the believers who are gonna share this body. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna share this body. We're gonna be raptured and put into an immortal body. Now it shall come to pass that in a day that I Yahweh will seek to destroy the nation that come against Jerusalem. Now you go to why he said that the Father is the Son. Go to Isaiah chapter 41. Of let's go to 40. So you see, we know Yahushua is coming, right? But say Yahuwah is coming. So you see how you how you play out. I said chapter 40, 10, Behold, Yahuwah Almighty will come with strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. He Yah Yahuwah shall feed his flock like a shepherd. So that means Yahuwah is the shepherd, right? <laughs> and he shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom and shall gen gently lead those who are with him. So you see, then you go by the revelation. It says Yahushua is coming with, and to reward every man for his work, right? So you see, go to 41. Go to 41 verse 14. Fear not that, O woman, Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I, Yahuwah, will help you, says Yahuwah, and your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. So you see, Yahuwah is our help, our Redeemer, in other words, our Messiah, our Savior, the Holy One of Israel. So you see, it's about the Redeemer. We know Yahushua is the Savior. But that's Yahuwah. <laughs> the message is Yahuwah in disguise. This is what the scripture says. Yahuwah revealed his secret to his servant, the prophets, right? I'm a prophet. I acknowledge that I will not be a of Yahuwah. Even before Yahuwah came in the flesh, Yahuwah revealed to me, David, that the Almighty was going to come in the flesh like one of my descendants. That's deep, right? That's deep. That should tell you that the Almighty is for us, with us, forever. That Yahweh is one of us. Oh, we are one of Him. Oh, we are become like Him. <laughs> the good for the two. I am Yahweh, that is my name, and my glory I will not give to another, neither my praise to give images. So you see, Yahweh is Yahweh. Beside Yahweh, there is none. Yahweh gave his glory not to another, neither his praise to give images, right? That means Yahweh is the Almighty. Beside Yahweh, there is no Savior, so Yahweh is the Savior. A good other part for the three. But now this is Yahuwah that created you, O Jacob, and he, Yah, that formed you, O Israel, for fear not, for I, I have redeemed you. So he said, Yahuwah have saved us. Yahuwah is the Savior. I have called thee by name. You are mine. When I pass through the waters, I, Yahuwah, will be with you. To the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When thou walk through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle and pull you. That's go back to Yahweh says that the one that will be, will be try and prefer go to the fire, 
let go to the fire like the silver, right? But it won't be burnt. Let go to verse 3. For I am Yahuwah, your Almighty, they set apart one of Israel, your Savior. So you see, Yahuwah said he is our Savior, our Messiah. I give Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba for you. Just giving the precept that the, the people will see, open the eyes of the blind. The good old. Let me read this part. Thus says Yahuwah, your Redeemer. So you see, <laughs> thus says Yahuwah, your Savior, your Messiah, your Redeemer. They set apart one of Israel for your sake. I, Yahuwah, sent to Babylon and have brought down all their nobles and the, and the Chaldees whose cry is in the ship. 15. I am Yahuwah, your set apart one, the creator of Israel, your king. So you see, Yahuwah is our king. So Yahweh came in the flesh, which is our Messiah, the big king of the Jews. That means we have one king. Yahuwah is our heavenly king. So Yahuwah came on the earth to us to be our earthly king, king of the Jews. Right? This is why Pilate and wrote on the stick on the inscription of Yahushua, which is Yahuwah, told it in the body. Thus says Yahuwah, which make a way in the sea and the path in the mighty waters. That means among all the religions and our gods, Yahweh revealed himself to us to be our savior. Then yeah. go to 47, just a quick video, you know. 47 verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust of virgin daughter of Babylon, America, sit on the ground. There is no tomb or daughter of the Chaldeans, America, for thou shall no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstone and ground meal, uncover the legs, make bare the legs, uncover the tire, pass over the rivers. Your nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, your shame shall be seen. I, Yahuwah, will take vengeance, and I will not meet you as a man. So, what, what did Yahuwah say that for? Because Yahweh the Almighty being Ruach came in the body in the flesh, which is our Messiah Yahushua to atone for our sins. Now the flesh was for atonement for our sins. Now Yahweh being Ruach went up on his throne, sit in all glory and in all power, right? Now Yahweh will come and judge Babylon and America and the Western world and the whole world, but not as a man, but in full glory. Because why Yahweh came lowly to save him a being and his people now you always come to judge the wicked not as a man but in his full power so you see the understanding so when yahushua the messiah came we say emmanuel which what does emmanuel means emmanuel means yahuwah our almighty is with us in the body emmanuel for the full now if you're not if you're not convinced look at this Verse 4, as for our Redeemer, or our Savior, or our Messiah, as for our Redeemer, Yahweh of hosts is his name, the set upon one of Israel. So you see, our Redeemer is Yahushua, Yahweh of hosts is his name, the set upon one of Israel. Yahweh is the Messiah. When you have this belief, you are single mind. That means you are fulfilling all the law of belief in the Bible that Moses wrote. That means you're making yourself one of the 144,000. The house of David has no lie. Phone in your mouth, in their mouth. They follow Yahushua, Yahweh the Lamb. Wherever he went. And no lie, no fault, no God is in the mouth. Shalom. Praise be to Yahuwah, Yahushua, David, Yahoo.